Welcome to our five minute demo. Today we're going to bring in a solid model from SolidWorks and align it and put our origin where we'd like to uh, machine from. From here we're going to go to file and I'm just going to open up a 40 by 20 CNC mill. This already has our vise and our 40 by 20 table. Currently our origin is on the corner of the vise. Next thing we're going to do is going to go file and import. We're going to open up a SOLIDWORKS file. You can see the different types of files here. We're going to open up a SOLIDWORKS file. This one solids import and align. We're going to check these three boxes here to make sure we don't bring anything that's not needed from the uh, when the part was originally drawn. I click OK. And here you can see the part is not uh, aligned with our table or vise. This part is on a compound angle. Gibbs is going to bring in the part, how the engineer drew the part in space. So in this case, it's on a compound angle. We're going to turn off this grid marker here. And now we want to align this face with our table. I'm going to turn on face selection. You can see you can select different faces. We want to select this face. This is the face we want to be parallel with our table or our plane that we're already in, our XY plane. Click on this face, go to plugins, down to solids and solids alignment. You have a number of different features here to align parts. We're looking for this icon right here. Click on this icon and you can see now our part is parallel with the XY plane. Now we need to get this edge here lined up with the y-axis. So I'm going to click on this edge as, and hold down the control key. Click on this edge of our vise. Click on this alignment. It's going to rotate our part parallel with the edge of the vise there. And you can see our part is lined up in the xy plane correctly. Now we need to just orient it into our vise. So I'm going to click on this edge here. Zoom up a little bit. Click this edge here. Tell Gibbs to align the edge of the part with the edge of the vise. You can see it's lined up now. You can see our rear jaws are not where they're supposed to be, so we're going to line those up as well. I'm going to click on the face of this jaw. Hold down the control key. Select the edge of the part. Tell Gibbs to align that rear jaw with the vise at the edge of our part. Now we want to move our part up a little bit because we uh, we need to face this part off so I'm not going to leave it flat here. I'm just going to select the part, go to modify, translate. We're going to move this up a quarter inch. So now you can see our part is above our vise by a quarter inch. Lastly, I want to move my origin to the edge of the part where I'm going to use my edge finder. Close these boxes, go to modify, move part origin. I'm just going to zero these out so you can see the numbers change. I'm going to highlight the X box, hold down the Alt key, click on the edge that I want to move the origin to. You can see it's going to put in the number to that edge. Y. Same thing here, Alt click there. You can see that changes, uh, does not change because it's already at zero. The Z, I want to move it to the top of our part. Again, highlight, Alt key, click the top of the part. You can see quarter inch. Click on do it. We're going to get a warning saying this is not undoable. Just click on continue. And you can see now our origin is lined up with our part correctly. Our part is out of the vise ready to go. From here you can do feature recognition, uh, machine the part, or use the profiler, a number of different ways to uh, machine this part. Just do a quick little face selection here, right click, go down to extract edges, click on do it, and you can see we have all the geometry we need now to machine the part. Thanks for watching.